Now, Kathy Helbig joins us. Good morning, Kathy Helbig. Good morning. How are you? You're a real estate guru for KSDK Channel 5, and we've borrowed you from time to time because it's such an interesting time of year. You've been telling us for weeks and months that it is a seller's market, and on Friday, there's a big story, front page story in the newspaper about how it's not just a seller's market, it's really a seller's market. It is. We're so low on inventory, it's the basic supply and demand issue going on right now, so... Make your make your offers good when you're making them. Which means you need an agent because now is the time you need an agent more than ever. More than ever because you need to have strategy on how to be the winning bid on those houses. How does one go about choosing an agent? Interesting that um, that's today's topic because I just came from a panel that I got to be a part of this weekend in California that was a panel of consumers that agents were able to question on how they chose their last realtor. And... It's really overwhelming that they are chosen by referral, which referral is a good thing as long as the agent has the backing to match it up. Mm -hmm. So, again, experience is huge and um, looking to, to match with somebody's personality and somebody that has the availability for you. That's the biggest problem right now for people that are trying to buy a house. If your agent is doesn't really have backup or doesn't have like I have a huge team that work with me. We've got people that call and they want to go see a house. And if you don't go get them in in the next couple hours, it's gone. I've had agents that are tremendous. Mm -hmm. And I've had agents that are not so good. Right. And it's night and day. And how did you choose your last agent? Um, I How did I choose my last agent? A friend of mine uh -huh. told me I was buying in downtown St. Louis. And a friend of mine said, I know a real estate person. She's an expert when it comes to downtown real estate. Okay. And so I was buying real estate downtown, so I went and I interviewed her, and she was fantastic. Good. Yeah. Good. So, and but, that's the thing. You interviewed them, and they matched other criteria right. besides it was just a friend. So many people just use their their relative or a friend of a friend. My Aunt Susie's getting into the real exactly. estate business. Why don't you use her? Exactly. Right. And And you, there's so much more to it that, you know, we've got to have the experience to back it up. The other thing I liked was that she was an expert in her in her mm -hmm. area. She wasn't an expert everywhere. Right. She was an expert in downtown lofts. Right. And I figured if I'm buying a downtown loft, I better have somebody who at least has some knowledge over what's going at on. At least some knowledge over what's going on. But it is a little bit of a misconception that you can only use a realtor that just sells in your area or just sells that particular neighborhood. A lot of times it's really more about the marketing. And as realtors, we're trained to, to determine market value of a lot of different places. So if you can sit down and come to an agreement on what you feel your property is worth, then the next step is really about the marketing that comes behind it and how they can expose your house. And then the experience on getting those contracts to, to be able to negotiate the best deal for you. Just because it's your neighbor that sells the houses in the neighborhood may not make them the most qualified for the, the needs. The When you talk about marketing, uh, both you as a buyer mm -hmm. and you, your house, you know, you have to market, you have to sell that offer right. to the seller sometimes. It's not sales until we have interest. It's marketing. So people forget about that. So you really have to have somebody with strong market reach and mar and knowledge in how to market to get the most eyeballs on your house, to get the interest and get the offers, and then it moves into sales and negotiations. And especially in a seller's market where a seller now might get two or three or four different offers, you've got to sell that offer to right. the seller. And right? we have to have the knowledge to be able to consul console you what um, consult with you as to what is what is the better offer just because it's the highest price doesn't necessarily make that your best offer. Right, yeah. No, there's a lot of things. There's a lot that, of things uh, that go into it to get it to the closing table. A lot of nuanced uh, parts. Uh, you, you love doing this, don't you? I love it. Yeah, it's, it's passion. Uh, you and your group. Talk about yes. your, your group for a second. I have a group of eight professionals that are licensed, both buyer agents and seller agents, and we have full-time marketing specialists on my team as well as an in-house salesperson. So we field all of the, the buyer prospect calls and get back to people immediately so you don't have to wait and lose that property. You're also co-owner of Keller Williams Realty West right there in downtown Cottaville. Uh, KathyHelbig.com is the website, 314-276-SOLD. Uh, and on Facebook, What the Helbig. Kathy, have a good week. Thanks Thank for checking you, you in. too. Yeah, good stuff. It is uh, 957. We are just about out of time. Ty Burrell is going to